Broken heart sayings, four sayings, and what they mean. There's a lot of broken heart sayings out there. About success, love, heartbreak, pretty much anything. Some are good and some were probably made up by a five-year-old. Here are four popular broken heart sayings, good and bad point one. There were reasons we met, reasons for the good times and reasons for the bad times, and most importantly a reason to end. We have more to learn, more to experience and more loving to do in this lifetime. I like this saying. While I'm not into the whole destiny thing too much, there's a reason for everything, this saying has an important meaning to it, your relationship was a life lesson for you. The good times had reasons behind them, the attraction and love you shared with your partner. The bad times had a reason too, which was the inexperience or lack of immaturity from you or or your ex. Of course, the reason that it ended was to tell you both something important, something will change. This will get better or it will end. Either way, you'll continue to grow. Neither is a bad thing, you'll either be with your current lover or you'll move on and experience other, possibly better, lovers, point two. So from now on, when you think of me, just remember that I could have been the best thing you've ever had. Oh man, the drama. The mind games. This quote was probably made up by a teenager. The self-importance demonstrated by anyone who says this is arrogant, to say the least. If you're the best thing they could have ever had, then why on earth did they break up with you or refuse to get back with you? Think about it. Instead of telling them how good you are, show them by changing into someone they want. Point three. It seems to me the harder I try the harder I fall. This is a great saying that applies to any situation that involves changing or controlling someone else. You can't make someone like you, and the harder you try to do that, the worse you're going to feel when it fails. You can't control someone's mind or emotional state, so don't waste your energy. Focus instead on changing yourself into someone who is magnetically attractive and perhaps you'll find your lover back in your arms. Point four. Sometimes it's better to be alone. No one can hurt you that way. That's like saying it's not worth trying to reach a personal goal because you're scared of failing. Failure isn't failure if you learn from it. While you might be in pain, being alone forever and ever isn't the answer. You become a better lover with time. If you wait 20 years until you meet someone again, then you've missed out on 20 years of experience as a lover. Be e careful who you listen to and what words of wisdom you take in. It's not all good advice. While I'm not going to advocate myself, I've helped many overcome their breakups and what I say is simply my opinion and experience. If you really want to win your ex back, I recommend you check out some of my other resources because winning back your lover isn't as hard as it seems.